Elliot, you're gonna be late for school. Mom, look, I've lost my tooth. Oh, Puppet, your first tooth. Do you realize what this means? You're going to get a visit from the little mouse. A mouse? Some people have a fairy that comes, but we have a mouse. And we'll leave a coin under your pillow tonight. I'm gonna keep your tooth. Come on, let's go and finish your breakfast. Elliot has lost his first tooth. How exciting. <laughs> Chip off the old block. Oh, he's lucky. He's going to get a coin. <laughs> Here, let's see. Wow, it's the tooth of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, no. It belongs to me. Good morning. Is this the home of one Elliot? Master Elliot Kid? I do believe he has a tooth I have to come around and pick up later. Uh, no! Why is nobody answering that? Jade's here to pick you up. Wait, Mom, wait! Maybe it's not Jade! I'm coming, I'm coming! Uh. Uh. Okay, time to go. Have a good day. <sighs> Hey, is it true when you lose your tooth, a mouse comes to get it? What? When my tooth fell out, a fairy came, not a mouse. My skin me the creeps. So I said, Dad, I want to stop drama and do dancing. Did he say yes? Oh, he'll have to say yes, all right, because if you want to be a star, you have to learn to dance. Oh, that's right. And you've got to have a really good-looking boyfriend to be in magazines. Not many of them around. All the boys at school are yucky. So, Elliot, what are you waiting for? What about the poem? Elliot, we won't wait for you all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about the poem? We can't hang about all day. We've got teeth to collect tonight. <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> my tooth fell out and tonight a mouse is gonna come and get it. When my tooth fell out, a fairy came. It all depends on your tradition. Some people have a fairy, and some people have a mouse. That's great, Elliot. And you know, it's ever such a nice little mouse. Is a mouse nicer than a fairy, miss? Of course. Um, well, I mean, uh, they are both very nice. How does the mouse know when we lose our teeth? Well, the little mouse has a big computer connected to everybody's house. Has he got internet or something? That's right. And in the evening, he reads his messages. And the computer tells him the addresses of the children who've lost their teeth. Where does he get his money? From his mom? Of course, Loretta. How does a mouse carry a coin? Mice run on all four legs. Well, he puts the coin in his mouth. So how does he breathe? Through his nose? A pillow's far too heavy for a mouse to lift. Fairies lift pillows very easily. How does he know where to go? He can't see in the dark. Yes, okay, but he is a special mouse with special eyes. And how can he visit everyone's house at the same time? He's best friends with Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I like that mouse. Hello, little mouse. No need to come tonight. I haven't lost my tooth. Elliot. Hey, Elliot, what are you doing here? Dad, do you know what the little mouse's email address is? Well, let's see, it's probably something like littlemouse at littlemouse.com. And what did you say to the little mouse? Uh, I told him not to come around tonight. So, did you send the message to the mouse? All done. Oh, but I just realized, what if he doesn't look at his computer? He's still gonna turn up. Elliot, Elliot, bad news! What is? Apparently a mouse is no bigger than this. So? So it can crawl up your nose. And do what? Eat your brains! Ah! I have an idea. Huh? Everyone knows mice have one enemy. Cats! That's right. Mutton is one tough kitty. Mutton, mutton, I'm gonna need your help. I wouldn't like to be in that mouse's shoes. Uh, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be tricky to find it. It's so tiny. Are you sure this is where it lives? I've no idea. This morning, I didn't even know the mouse existed. Are you sure it won't attack us? 
Don't worry. to tidy up the attic. Otherwise, Elliot, no television. It's not fair. You're useless, Mutton. Elliot's terrified of that mouse. I know. He sent it an email. I don't know where he gets these ideas from. Well, he told me it was going to crawl up his nose and eat his brains. Not possible. Huh? A mouse would never be small enough to access the nasal cavities. Hello? What is he up to this time? Elliot Kidd has not lost his tooth. I repeat, <gasps> Elliot Kidd has not lost his tooth. Do not come around. Do you hear me, little mouse? Do not come around. Do you think that'll work? Sure. Mice have big ears. Come here, Poppet. I've got good news for you. The mouse isn't going to be able to make it. That's right. He replied to your email. Too many kids lost their uh teeth today. He's rushed off his feet. However, the Tooth Fairy called, and she said she's got a nice, big, shiny coin that she wants to give you. Great. Come on. Huh. Well, looks like that's put his mind to rest. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll pull through. You're going to get a visit from the little mouse. Heavens, it's the tooth of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dark. So, Mouse, let's see what you're made of. Do you know where the mouse lives? There it is. It's getting closer. I don't believe it. The boy is a genius. I'll take off his helmet. Oh, my little Elliot. Anyway, mouse or no mouse, he's fast asleep. <laughs> Save us now! My hero! You're so handsome! Leave the fairy alone! Free little fairy. Yeah! Elliot! Elliot, it's time. Come on, it's a beautiful day. Look under your pillow. I think the fairy has come. Wow! See? There was nothing to worry about. Everything turned out fine and nobody got hurt. <laughs> Ow! 
Oh, get it off of me! Help! 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 Help!